What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the new Noble Focus Apollo Hybrid True Wireless Ear Headphones. I've been waiting on these ever since I saw these were announced and I read the specs on these. I wanted to get these in. I do have a, a bunch of uh, the Noble earbuds out here. I'm still going to get them Triumphs. Eventually, I'll get them in as well. But I, I had to put everything aside to grab these because I was really interested in them. So let's quickly go ahead and talk about them. First, the price, you can get these for $649 on NobleAudio.com as well as Audio46.com, which is where I got these. Shout out to Audio46. Uh, as far as colorways, you only get the black with the silver. They don't come in any other colors as of right now. As far as specs, they rock Bluetooth 5.3 with codex support for AAC, SBC, APTX, APTX HD, and LDAC. So you got some nice high-res audio codex to work with. As far as noise canceling, they have a hybrid active noise canceling system with reduction depth of up to negative uh, 35 decibels. You know, we will definitely test that out. As far as battery life, with noise canceling turned off, you can get up to 80 hours of playback time, which is fantastic. With noise canceling turned on, you get up to 60 hours of playback time. Again, fantastic, especially with noise canceling turned on. As far as features, now, you might want to buckle up for this. Uh, they have the world's first dynamic and planner driver hybrid system. All right. You have one 40 millimeter dynamic driver and a 14.5 millimeter planner dri magnetic hybrid driver arrangement in each air cup. That's going to be very interesting. I can't wait to run some, mu some music through it, see how they sound. They have a QC, excuse me, they have the QCC 3084 chip, superior trans transparency mode. You know we're going to test that too. Removable boom mic, so you can use these for gaming or phone calls. If you're uh, using them for work, you can do that too. Okay. Very nice. Got an onboard mute switch for all the mics. And of course, you can uh, it can be used wireless or wired because you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is nice. Premium components, which consist of anodized aluminum frame, memory foam with uh, premium protein uh, leather ear pads, which are replaceable. That's always a that's always a good thing. You got Alcantara headband. Uh, now back to the other day, you've got multi point connectivity. You got app support through the Noble Focus app for Android and iOS. I'm excited about these. Let's get in it. Where's my Cricut? There we go. We now nah, I don't want to mess up the front. So if we're gonna do anything, we're gonna do it on the top. There we go. Noble Focus Apollo. This is their very first. Uh, I guess their very first foray into the headphone space which made this a very, uh, you know, made me even more interested in them. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. It's like we just got the sleeve here. Let's make sure there's no other tape around. I don't see any. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> get this. There we go. Get it moving. Get it out. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna bump the camera. Sorry about that. Man, this box is huge. I'm trying to keep things sort of pristine here. All right. I think we got it. Sorry, this is taking so long. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. <laughs> All right, come on here. There we go, jeez. All right, we got that off. Let's go ahead and crack this open. I love the, the presentation. <laughs> Let's do that again. Open it up, two doors. Damn, there it is, you got the Noble case. Fabric on it, love it. Got the noble branding on it. Ah, let's pull this out. 
Got a nice handle, thick case. Nice and thick, deep. All right, let's go ahead and put this to the side. I love this packaging though. Absolutely love it. The presentation is top notch. All right, let's get this all to the side. Let's get over to the bit business at hand. All right, we've got, again, the case. I love the fabric on it, hard shell. Very nice, I like the zipper on it. No noble logo on the zipper, however. I do like the fact that it is cup. The zipper itself is covered. Very nice. Let's go ahead and kind of not too hard. No, not too hard to zip. Moves pretty nice, pretty smooth. Got that zipper sound, of course. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. Actually, I had it back. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. All right. We got the felt, the velvet pouch. Noble branding on it. Let's see what we got in here. We got, okay, we got our detachable boom mic. We got our airplane adapter. We got our stereo adapter. I think this is a 4.5. So if you want to jack it into like your uh, home stereo system. Okay, it looks like we've got an L adapter too, in case you wanna hook the, connect this directly to like a laptop or something like that. You can jack it in here and then plug it directly in so you got that L. That's a very, that's a smart piece right there. That's real smart to have that as an attachment. Very nice. All right, that's everything that's in the velvet pouch. We got our user manual here. All right, now let's see what else we, we've got. 3.5, it's like that's 3.5 to 2.5? It looks like it, oh no, let's see. Is that 3.5 to 2.5 or is that 3.5 to three? That's 3.5 to 3.5, my eyes are deceiving me. So that's still good, still good. I love the detail around, around it, the, the plug-in, the jack rather, got a nice little texture there where you can grab and pull so you don't, so you get a nice grip on it. Very nice. And of course we got our USB-C to USB-C cable for charging. I think you can also use this for audio transfer as well to listening. Uh, I think so, I believe that. All right, now here we go. Uh, the coup de gras here. Oh man, these are beautiful, beautiful. Let's 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 get this stuff out of the way here, real quick. We'll take care of this later on. All right. So far, I am loving this. All right, whoo! Look at these. They give me that that uh. Let me tell this plastic off. They give me that vibe of the um uh, of the Bowers and Wilkins. Uh, PX8s, the PX, the PX7S2Es, and the they give me that vibe. But still, oh yeah, every, you know how we how we love pulling plastic off of new stuff. You know how we do. Uh, let's go ahead and get that off. Oh, all right. Huh? Oh, these look nice. Got the fabric around, around the ear cups. All right, let's switch these around. I wonder if these go, okay, yeah, you can lay them down flat either way. Very nice. All right, real quick, let's take a walk around. All right, bright logo. Is that a reflective logo? Looks that way, yeah, it looks that way. Oh yeah. The Noble logo is reflective. Nice. You got your Noble branding here on the cup, on both cups, on the side, as well as on the on the front, as on the front rather, and then on the side. Oh, you got Alcantara. Oh, that band is so soft. Alcantara underneath. Got a nice fabric over top on the headband. Protein leather ear pads with that memory foam. It's so soft. Oh, and it's deep too. 
Look how deep these cups are. Let me see. Let's let's lose a finger as a reference. All right. I don't know if you could tell. That's like going to the line of my index finger. Look, that's deep. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got the left and right branding, label, label, labeling on the inside. All right. Let's take a quick look at our controls and ports. We've got our ANC. Here, this is the right ear cup. So we got our ANC port here at the top. We've got our plus and minus volume buttons. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. A little ways out because the box was so, so big. All right. Okay, let's back that up. You got your ANC port here. You got your volume up, volume down uh, button here. You got your multi-purpose button here, which also serves as your, uh, I think that serves as the uh, power, your power button as well. You got your 3.5 millimeter jack here. All right. And then switching over to the left earbud or left <laughs> cup, you got your uh, mute button, your mute switch rather. You can turn on and off, mute everything I mean, as far as mics go. You got your USB-C charging port and you got your your microphone port for your boom mic right here. I don't know if you can see that right there. And there's the three port, the USB type C charging port. All right. So you definitely got everything. And man, these these look nice. I'm telling you, they still give me that that uh bowers of that pi that px8 look that gives me that vibe it just does but man these look really really nice oh that alcantara on the top that's going to be a game changer for the headband underneath oh he's man i can't wait to get these on all right so what we want to do now is we'll go ahead get these guys paired up and we're going to take a walk through the noble focus app Stay strapped in. All right, back in. Let's go ahead and get these guys paired up. Let's go ahead with our power button here. Make sure we got some juice first. All right, we got a little, some juice. They are in parry mode. I don't know if you can see that the blue light. All right, so we're in parry mode right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Bluetooth settings here on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. And let's go ahead down to detail. Well, let's go down here. See if we see it. All right, there it is. Noble Focus Apollo. So let's go ahead and hit that. Pairing. Oh, I was rejected. Let's try it again. All right, let's make sure that we are still in pairing mode. All right, powered on. All right, it got them powered on. All right, now we, all right, now we got it. Blue and red, let's go. Boom. All right, it's like I was messing up. Let's get that pairing going. All right, we got our volume rocker, so we are paired up. Just to double check and make sure. There they are. Noble, Fo Noble Focus Apollos all paired up. Let's go ahead and jump into the app. Noble Focus, there we go. Let's see if we can find them here. I think they're still looking for my other ones. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and get let me go ahead and get this right real quick. All right, I had to go out and uninstall the app, reinstall it because I think something might have happened when I. Uh, switch phones from my uh, the S23 Ultra, which I traded in for this. Uh, might have been something with the app. So we're back in anyway. Here's the look at the app. You got the name of the headphones at the top. Here, here you got your battery level here. You've got just some information tells you about the 10 band equalizer that you have there. You got the personal EQ. So if you will deal with that, see, there's the 10 band equalizer. Very nice. You got your uh, presets as well, the standard uh, presets for the Noble uh, Noble uh, product line, Noble Focus product line. Let's put that way. You got classic pop, jazz, rap, folk, and default. All right. So 
You go into personalize, and then boom, you got your 10 band equalizer, which we will play with a little later on. All right. Now, looking further here on the right, you got a drop down option here where you can go to the equalizer. You got their settings. You got update firmware. And I think this is a parent. What is that right there? Oh, okay. This is where you want to disconnect the headphones from the app. So we don't want to do that. So we'll keep that on. So let's go ahead and check and see if there's a firmware update. There is a firmware update here. So we'll go ahead and run this real quick and then we'll finish our tour. All right, we're back in. We got the update ran. Let's continue going through the app. As you see, let's go ahead and click on settings. And inside here is quick and easy. You got your uh, tone prompts. You can turn that off and on or your tone switch. You turn that, I'll leave that on to let you know when you're cycling through different uh, features. You got your volume slider, your language option, and ANC display, which is this right here at the very bottom. It tells you whether ANC is on, off, or in ambient mode. All right, so let's go back in. Okay, and that's basically, well, that's all to say. I don't know why we went back in, but that's basically it for the app. All right, as far as the settings go. And let me see. Oh, yeah, by the way, you also have your... Um, media controls here at the bottom play pause skip reverse tracks and of course you got your picture of the headset with the uh boom mic attached to it very okay very nice i mean it's a clean uh app uh, it could be fine-tuned a little bit more in my opinion but again i am using the uh tablet screen uh on here let's go ahead let's see what it looks like if i just use the candy bar style this is basically what it looks like if you're just using uh, your conventional style of cell phone. Probably a little bit wider than this, but still, that's what it is. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, get these guys uh, finished doing their testing. I can't wait to see how these sound. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. What we're going to do now is we're going to test the multi point connectivity feature for the Focus Apollos. So what we're going to do now is we got the tab SA Ultra on deck. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go into my uh, Bluetooth settings here. I know my screen's a mess. Um, and we're going to put the Apollos back in pairing mode. All right, let's see what we got. All right, now let's go ahead and put these guys in pairing mode. Got that audible sound. All right, now they're back in pairing mode. We're gonna scan, slide down. There they go at the top. We're gonna go ahead and pair them up. Yes. All right, now they are officially paired to the tablet, as you can see at the top here. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna slide over to my cell phone here, Let's unlock that. We're going to go back in and we're going to, boom, they're already connected. All right, so we got them connected to both devices. Love it. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and test audio on these. So let's go ahead and grab a, we'll go into, whoop, no, yeah, that's it. We're going to go into one of my, one of my, uh, videos. I don't know why I did that, but on each of these, all right, we're going to grab this one. We're going to put that in play and we're going to pause that. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to grab this one here, put that in play, pause that. All right. So that we got audio from one and audio from the other one, we're going to put these guys on. Oh, so, so oh, these are nice. I, nice clamping force, not too, uh, not too strong. Uh, but just nice, give you a nice, good uh, seal there. All right. So, very nice. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to play and start with the phone. All right. 
I got audio playing out of that. All right, let's go ahead to the tablet. And I got audio out of here. So audio works on both. So what we're going to do in multipoint, we're going to see if they have audio switching. I'm going to start with the tablet, let that video audio play, and then I'm going to switch over to the phone, see if it switches with me. See if it pauses it here, rather, and then switch over. Here we go. All right, we got audio now on the tablet. Let's go to the phone. No audio switching. You see it automatically pause the phone. So audio switching does not work, but multipoint does. Again, not a deal breaker. Let's continue. All right, what we want to test now is the button controls. Uh, unfortunately, these headphones does not have uh, the in-ear or on-head detection uh, sensor in it. So you have to literally pause these while hitting the pause button but uh, when you take them off to say, you know, because they will not auto pause, obviously. All right, so real quick. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the test with the head ear, with the uh, button controls here. Let me go ahead and pull up some music. All right, looks like we are, I had some on deck. All right, here we go. So now the these are similar to the uh, PI8, PX8, or excuse me, the PX8s and stuff like that. But I think they're a little bit, I think they're a little bit different, but pretty much the same. So what we want to do is let's go and get music playing. All right. So now the center option, the center key, if you press once, will play it, will pause your audio. All right, you press it twice. And, you know, we'll press it once again. It will start your video. Now, as far as phone calls, a single press will answer and end phone calls when if you're wearing them when so when they come in. All right. So now, of course, moving on to our volume up. Of course, press once, it raises the volume. But if you press and hold, it will take you to the next song, as you can see. Now, as far as the volume down, obviously, single press lowers your volume. But if you press and hold, it will take you to the back beginning of the song. And then again, take you to the previous song. So all those are working as they should. Let me pause this. All right. Again. I, I, and they're very fast, they're very snappy when it comes to actuating functionality and everything. And I really, really do like, I just wish these had uh, the uh, in-ear on-head detection uh, sensors in them. But other than that, these, they, they, I love the way how fast they respond. All right, so touch controls all work. Of course, you have your noise canceling here on this side. So when you press on, you press it once, it will cycle through Noise can, uh, was it normal transparency and then no A and C. So, uh, we'll test that a little later on, um, when we do the A and C test for these. All right. So yeah, I think that's everything as far as the touch controls go. Let's finish our testing. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is with, uh, let me see here. I grab them. If you press, if you double press, your power button, it will bring up your voice, your voice assistant. What's the weather for tomorrow? Ah, not now. Okay, so it does work. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier, but that function is uh, works properly. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus Apollo headphones with boom mic attached in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus Apollo headphones with the boom mic attached in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus Apollo headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus Apollo headphones with boom mic in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus Apollo headphones with boom mic in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus Apollo headphones in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Noble Focus Apollo headphones in a crowded location. All right, we are out in my backyard for the ANC test for the Noble Focus Apollo headphones. Let me paint the picture for you. We got traffic out so on the other side of the road here or the other side of the house behind the house rather we got the street traffic there we got trans the trans uh, turnpike rather traffic up that way 
We've got planes. We I just saw a semi here. We may even have some central air units fire off if they're not already running. So we got a pretty good test bed here right now. I am in transparency mode and I have to admit it is not bad. Um, I mean, it's not crystal clear where I can hear everything, um, but I can hear like the traffic over here. I can hear that a little bit. So the actual natural noise isolation from the ear, the ear cups is doing a great job. Also got some wind, a little breeze came through. Um, I don't know if you can pick the mics picking that up as well, but I can hear that through the transparency mode. So we want to go ahead and put these in noise canceling. All right, noise canceling has been turned on, and I have to admit, everything got quiet. The noise canceling, it literally drowned out the traffic on the street. I cannot hear the traffic at the on the turnpike, and I feel the breeze. I cannot hear the breeze, and I think there was a plane in flight somewhere. I can't hear that either. All right. Uh, again, these are doing a fantastic job. I'm trying to focus to see uh, if I can hear anything from the Turnpike Bridge. I see traffic, but I don't hear anything. I'm looking over here. I see cars going by. I don't hear anything. So they're doing a wonderful job. So, man, I'm hoping one of these AC units fire off. I want to see how they do. So right now, these guys are doing a fantastic job. So I've had to it. If I had to rate them from one to 10, one being absolute trash, 10 being the best, I would give these guys a solid eight, a solid eight. These guys are doing a fantastic job with that noise canceling. Um, so again, this has been the ANC test uh, for the Noble Focus Apollo headphones. They're doing a great job with the noise canceling. All right, what we're gonna do now is the sound test. We are in the app. As you can see down here at the bottom, we are in ambient mode, so that way I'm not yelling. So let's go ahead. I want to show you my EQ settings. Now, this is my personalized EQ here. That's what I went. I went with the V shape, or as close to the V shape as possible with these. We're going to see how they do. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into our music. We got our first song already queued up. Uh, we are in our optimal listening level. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead back out of here. We're going to put these guys in noise canceling. All right, ANC has been turned on. So let's go ahead and jump into our song. Let's back up. All right, here we go. All right, nice, clear vocals. Nice detail. Very clean, nice depth to it. it, has some depth to it. Very nice. Very clean sounding. Again, nice detail. Well done. Nice sound stage opens up nicely. And there was some, again, depth because there was some echo there at the end. Very clean. I like the way that's, I like the way these sound. They, 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 they don't overpower you with volume, with natural volume. I mean, they have good volume. Again, I, I got them down pretty low here. Uh, but I, they do, they sound really good. And again, like I said, they have that depth to the, um, uh, to the, to the vocalist as well. A nice sound stage. You definitely, uh, you can definitely hear that. You can definitely feel that, but then you got that depth going on as far as for the song. So it uh, just sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and flip over to our bass song. Here we go. 
Okay. Nice bass. Clean. The shimmery sound is nice and crisp. Oh, yeah. That bass hits. Let me, let me turn it up one notch. Ooh, that's nice. Now, the reverb on this is nice. Oh, that's clean bass. I wish it was a little bit more powerful, though. You know, even at this point, at this level. I mean, let's go, let's go back. But again, it's nice and powerful enough. Again, you do have a planner uh, driver in here as well as a dynamic. So, oh, I love it. I love it. That bass is nice. Okay, let's stop. Let's, let's, let's all right. Good bass is good and clean. But again, you, we got to take into consideration that there is a planner driver also in here along with a dynamic so it's giving you the best of both worlds in my opinion my only vote my only gripe is is i wish it had a little natural a little bit more natural volume to it other than that these guys sound phenomenal so far all right let's go ahead and get down to our final song you know what we're gonna go up we're gonna use going home on our final song here all right again they, they, these, these sound good, but that's so far. That's the only drawback I have for them so far, so far. All right, let's go that I'm going to mention anyway. Nice, warm start with the keyboard, the drums. Again, the planner driver is really showing up here because it's very clear. And here it is again, planner driver right here. Nice, clean, crisp saxophone very clean and again you got that depth of sound it just makes it sound really good man oh very nice here comes the high note ah nice let's max this out see how they do Oh, wow. Oh, they sound phenomenal maxed out. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let me pause it. They sound phenomenal maxed out. Nice wide open sound stage. The clarity from the saxophone. Oh, the combination, the depth. They just maxed out. They sound fantastic. I, I, I can't. I'm not going to take anything away from them. They sound fantastic, maxed out. Oh, so good. All right. One thing I did. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, one thing I didn't do is check this. Let me. I was so excited about this. I didn't check. Okay. Okay. Well, I was using the A. A, uh, APTX. So we're going to try one more song. We're going to turn LDAC on. And let's, let's, let, let's, let's run back. Let's run this back with LDAC. Here we go. Again, this is, this is what LDAC on. And right off the bat, I could tell it sounds a little warmer than with the APTX. Yeah. Again, let's max it out. See how it sounds. Okay. Okay. All right. In my opinion, now this is this is just one song. I turned on LDAC. You guys saw that. It sounds a little warmer. Uh, than it does with APTX, in my opinion. They're both great and good co uh, codecs. Uh, so, I mean, if, if I was rocking the bass song, I know this would knock the bass out the park. Um, actually, you know what? This is my video. I could do what I want. Let's go. Let's go down just to, just to test that. Where's my bass test? Here we go. Here we go. 
All right, we're going to put it back down to normal. Nice. Yes, it is definitely giving me a little bit more punch to the base with LDAC. And that reverb, yes. Absolutely. It's giving me that. Yeah, it's giving me a little bit more punch to the base uh, with LDAC turned on. Uh, but I have to admit, I think they sound better with a with aptx at that um hd or aptx codec running uh in my opinion i as of right now these guys obviously got the burn in so we'll come back we'll, we'll do a review in a few months to see how these guys sound after i after i've run them in a, a little bit all right so let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes of these headphones all right back in talk about my likes and dislikes for the noble focus apollo headphones their very first uh rendi uh iteration into the their, into the headphone space and i have to admit they did a very very good job uh however there is a couple things that i dislike about these headphones so let's go ahead and cover them real quick and move on first up uh no in no on ear on head detection sensor uh for this price point you would think that that type of feature would be included on these uh on these headphones all right uh the other thing is i wish these guys were had a a little bit more natural sound to a little, a little bit louder um i mean they do it they have good sound and good volume, but i just wish they were a little bit louder uh which would give you a little bit more brighter sound and combining that with the dynamic driver for bass. I think that it would be fantastic because when these, you max these out as far as volume goes, these sound phenomenal. But if you're listening to, depending on what you're listening to also, uh, they may uh, sound, they may have a, a totally different sound to them and everything. But again, I really do like these. Uh, but those are my two dis my dislikes that I wish uh, um, they had. All right, maybe one could be helped with the firmware update. I know the other cannot because that's a hardware issue. All right, uh, moving on to my likes. Already, I like the packaging of these guys. I love the presentation, uh, the case. Loved how sturdy that is. Um, the accessories. You're fully equipped. Uh, to use these in just about any situation. I do like that. Uh, the ear cups are super, super soft and they're replaceable. That's always a good thing. The Alcantara headband um, really feels nice and comfortable uh, on your head. Had them on for a little while and I really did feel no pressure there. They have a nice side, nice clamping force, not too aggressive, uh, but good enough in my opinion um let's see uh like i said button controls reminiscent of the uh px a px eights of the bowers and wilkins and you know with my with a couple minor adjustments uh let's see what else i like um i just i, I love the build quality on these just overall build quality man these is they look very good uh, they were definitely worth the wait, in my opinion, uh, despite my two uh, dislikes. All right. Uh, let me see. Anything else? I think I covered everything there as far as my likes and dislikes. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let's wrap this up. So this has been a unboxing and review of the new Noble Focus Apollo headphones. Really, really good one. Really good headphones. Their very first for, foray into the into the headphone space. I think they did a great job uh, considering this is their very first attempt. As like I said, there is some is I do have some uh, misgivings, you know, some dislikes about them. But other than that, I think they're a very solid first, uh, uh, very solid first edition. Uh, I can't wait to get these guys and get them, uh, get them. I guess uh, worn in and everything see how they do over time if you uh, again these are pricey though so if you want you're going to have to pay to play on these ones uh but i think these are going to be a great set of headphones all right so if you like what you see here go and hit the like button 
If you want to join me as I continue to do unboxings like this and others, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you guys are notified when videos like this and others drop. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.